Oh, well, let's talk baseball. Okay, yeah, the, the, it was a great weekend down in Mexico <laughs> City. A lot of fun to watch those games, but uh, the ball was flying. Cheap home runs and cheap tequila. <laughs> uh, I do. I tell you what, the the fun thing to me to watch the, the two games in Mexico City against the Giants was the Sombrero Sluggers. Mm. The Padres hit that six home runs in that one game. There were 11 home runs total. Uh, and every time they hit a bomb, somebody's running out of the dugout wearing the big black sombrero. They ought to bring that back. That'll be our signature for this Padre season as they continue now and they move back home to play the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, it It's a, a tough place to play. I did not realize, cut class the day they taught it in college, went and drank beer instead. I didn't realize Mexico City was 7,300 feet above sea level. That's way up there. Yeah, I mean, it's it just a shade more than 5,200 feet in Denver, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Mile High City. Man, that ball was jumping out of there. And then the winds came up, which complicated it. And the psyche of the pitchers just, oh, my goodness, throwing your best stuff and it winds up out there in the next state over. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was a really fun series, really tough on the players. Uh, you know, the, the fascinating story, you Darvish had a really tough outing, gave up three home runs early. He's been battling dehydration and he had trouble breathing in the thin air in Mexico city. Mm -hmm. He was on oxygen in the back of the dugout between innings. Oh, I didn't know that. And then he kind of rallied back and he, I mean, he retired the final eight batters he faced, but boy, he it was culture shock for him because he throws all these different pitches from all these different arm slots and the balls were flat. They were not breaking the way you Darvish at Petco Park would mm -hmm. deliver it to the plate. Uh, but the Padres won. Giants, you know, I'm sorry, it's a ragtag team. I hate to insult your old team. <laughs> Just a ragtag roster. I don't yeah. have much faith in what they're doing up there right now. Um, and their pitching staff it got obliterated and poor Gabe Kapler was going crazy. Next guy up, because the last guy I put in got his brains blown out. So Gi Giants blew two leads. They, I mean, they had the big lead in, uh, in the six home run game. They lost that. And then they blew the 4 nothing lead uh, in the Sunday game. But Padres are back home. Uh, I feel bad that they get off the plane like at midnight. Uh, no batting practice on Monday before the game with the Reds. You know, they got to be fatigued. But getting them back to, to sea level is probably going to help them again. And it's weird. There's nothing wrong with your eyesight. My eyesight's bad. Nothing wrong with your eyesight. Look at the standings. Could you please ever tell me that you would have thought small market Tampa Bay would have 23 wins? Yeah, wow. The Pirates would have 18. The mm -hmm. Orioles would have 18 with the smallest budgets they have. And, and everybody that we thought was going to be good, be it San Diego, be it the Dodgers, these guys are staggering to try to get a shade above the 500 mark. A lot of baseball to be played, but... Now, it's nothing wrong with your eyesight. The standings are correct. Yeah, well, and, you know, and the, the Padres are back above 500, and hopefully this kind of kicks them into a new gear, get that offense rolling. But it just seemed on Saturday, any time they squared up on the ball, it was gone. I mean, it, 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 was, it was incredible the way it was flying out of there. And some of those home runs, I think even like Tatis's, was only like about 300, maybe 15 feet, would never have been a home run in a, a stadium in America. But so because the fences were – were shallow. The, the the fences were short. I mean, it was just in, like a like the ultimate bandbox. Yeah, it really was. And it's a once in a lifetime experience. It was so much fun for the players, and the players did some kind of cool things with the charity events down there. But uh, I like the sombrero look. I hope they keep that in the dugout at Petco Park. Oh, it's and, coming back. And when guys hit bombs, I want to see these guys running up and down the dugout wearing the big black Mexican sombrero. Yeah, for okay. sure.